Hello. Hi. Welcome to a new series. I'm starting now. Hopefully everything is sounding good. Uh, and hopefully everyone's excited and ready for what should be a really fun series. Um, now that Lockdown League has finished, um, we're going to try and do our best with Arsenal. And I completely forgot to put England on top of that. But <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. Um, I kind of want to focus on Arsenal at first. Um, so I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been a while since I've last done this. So apologies for any um, rustiness in the old streaming thing. Um, yeah, we're going to be spending this first episode, I guess, doing some transfers and getting to know the squad a little bit. So there's not going to be much gameplay until maybe the next episode. Um, yeah, then let's, let's get straight into it. So... Arsenal have confirmed the appointment of Flamingo Tobin as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised at the appointment of the 20-year-old who recently spent time away from football and is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Meadow Park. I'm getting £28,000. What should we do with £28,500 a week? So a lot of things we can do with that. We could buy, uh, I don't know, Hopefully some play like, <laughs> I will put my own salary into the transfer funds. <laughs> Apparently we need it. <laughs> um, replacing Joe Montemar, Um I like the reputation of a title specialist, which given the club's ambitions, creates an interesting dynamic. Right, well, the club, you're going to find out why you've appointed me. I, I'm, a, I'm a very good, I've, I've got no experience at all. <laughs> so let's just have a quick look at the history of the club. Media prediction is second. Interesting. Um... We've still got Aaron as our assistant manager, uh, carrying on from Joe. Uh, we've got one Champions League and two, three Super Leagues. Uh, yeah, Meadow Park. We train with Arsenal at the big, nice complex. That's nice. Um, so finally, in 1987, Arsenal are an English club playing in the FAWSL. Uh, won the title in 2019, the most successful club in FA history. Good. <laughs> Hopefully we can add to that. Um, they play the games at Hope Meadow Park. We know that very well. Um, superb facilities, of course. Um, we're known as the Gunners. Fierce rivalry with Tottenham, Hotspur, City and Chelsea. I wonder if Tottenham are going to start uh, chatting smack about our team again. Because <laughs> that didn't end too well for them last time. So we'll see if they say they're going to get relegated again. <laughs> that was funny. Um... Growing history, Champions League 2006. So we're aiming, our aim is really to win the Champions League. Like, obviously we want to win the league, but the Champions League is going to be the big goal for this, um, what's it called, for this series. Um, so we're going to be aiming for the Champions League. Uh, looking at lineup, of course, we've got Viv up front, Lisa and Beth on the wings, down in midfield, Jordan, Kim Little, Katie, Jen Beatty, Leah, Leonie Meyer, and Manuel Zinsberger. So it's a really good team to start off with. We already know that. <laughs> We just need a little bit of squad depth because we literally only have like 10 players. Um, <laughs> so, I've also, if you haven't, well, you would have noticed, I've got the face pack included this time so that we actually know who's who. So that's nice. Um, in terms of what the board want from us, they want us to play attacking football, absolutely yes. And entertaining football, absolutely yes. Um, work within wage budget, uh, that's fine. But here we go. So they want us to re re reach the semi-final of the Champions League. And of course, that's going to be our goal this season. We probably don't have our hope of winning the Champions League this season. So we're just going to look at this season as a building season for trying to win the Champions League, either next season or the season afterwards. Going to win the FAWSL. That is a huge requirement. Um, hope we can do a little bit better than real life. Um, with some good signings, of course. Um, FA Cup, we want to reach the final. Conti Cup, we want to reach the final. Continue to win the FAWSL for the seasons onwards. So pretty lofty ambitions, but I think we can beat them. What do we all reckon? When are we going to get the... In chat, how, how many seasons do you think it's going to take us to win the Champions League? Two or three? Maybe even four. Who knows? Let me know how many you think we're going to we're gonna manage it in. Of course, I'm going to try and make it as interactive as possible. Transfers especially, so you guys get involved more. Because that's always better. And yeah, so we're going to have a uh, press conference and yeah, okay, let's get into it. So, 
Oh, now we've taken charge of Arsenal. I was going to say that's not sorry, look. <laughs> that's a different uh, player. That that name rings a bell. Anyway, uh, tactics we don't need to talk about because we know things. Um, I turned down a job offer at Birmingham to play for up to uh, <laughs> coach Arsenal. All right, so let's get straight into the tactic because I kind of did this last time, so I don't really want to mess around too much with that. So I'll do it as quickly as possible. I'll talk through it a little bit, but today's not really about the tactic because we already know what I'm going to be doing. Um, my football philosophy is very much based around using the attacking the attacking ability of the players up front and using the midfield just to give them the ball and win the ball back. So it's quite a, it's a very hard working midfield. Not so much a creative midfield. They kind of give the ball to the front four to do their thing. So that's my kind of like view of this team. Um as I quickly and I want to use Kate as like a complete wing back of course because why not to do that? Um Leah she's right right sided. Yeah. Um Jordan Nobbs Dan uh, uh Beth Mead Mead oh uh where's Lisa? Where's Lisa? Um Alright. Let me know if you have any suggestions for lineups and stuff. But yeah, how many seasons do you think it'll take us to win the Champions League? That's what I want to know in the chat. How long do you think it's going to take, guys? Hopefully not too long. Because we have... Oh, we can move on to other things afterwards, but I do want to make this as long a series as possible. Anyway, um, so in terms of defence, we are looking a little bit... <laughs> Just look at this bench. <laughs> We've got no one. <laughs> oh dear. It's bad. Alright, this is our, our team. Um, Kim doesn't really fit my play style, but you know, we'll work with that. Um, so for now, this is kind of what I want from... Uh, oh, she plays in Mazzara, okay. Now, the thing about BT is that I've kind of done a little bit of looking around and she's actually one of the higher rated players in this game, the centre back. But she's not really a centre back that I think will win us the Champions League. And I don't know about you guys, but I think we need a little bit more strength in this left centre back position next to Leah. Obviously Leah's uh, starting centre back, but we, I think we need to look at potentially getting her a a Champions League worthy centre back partner, um, but like in terms of the rest of the team, I'm absolutely fine with this being my starting eleven. And really, the problem starts with this: the bench. <laughs> Given that we have what is it, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 players. Incredible. Um, looking at the bench, we've got Melissa Phyllis, we've got Ruby Base, and of course Ruby. Who's the other Ruby? Uh, there's two rubies, isn't there? Who's the other? Who's the other ruby, guys? Who, who's the ruby Grant? Wasn't it? Yeah, ruby Grant. So she's gone off to America. Is she in the game? She is. So she's actually gone to play for the Tar Heels. Wow, that's Tobin's old uni. Okay, fair play to her. So we, yeah, we don't have Ruby Grant anymore, but we do have Melissa Phyllis, who's a very exciting prospect. Um, could be a superb player for us. And she fits my midfield player sort of style really well. So that's nice. Um, and then, of course, we've got Ruby May's centre-back. Um, definitely can improve a lot in the future, but not really at the quality that we need as of right now. But yeah, in terms of the rest of the youth players, I'm not really sure on them. Um, let's just have a, a look at what we've got here. Yeah. Denton looks to be a pretty decent player. Another exciting prospect for the future, although injury prone, so maybe not too good. So yeah, I've let's move on and have a little look at then how we're gonna strengthen this very, very weak. Well, it's got a lot of strength on it, but it's got a lot of weakness in terms of it doesn't have anyone. <laughs> so let's look at the let's have a look at the bench and see what we can do um, in terms of transfers. And I've already shortlisted pretty much all of the players that have been suggested to me. And I'm going to go through each of them and say why we're going to go for them or why we're not going to go for them. Now, this is a tra <laughs> this is a transfer I would absolutely take in a heartbeat. 
However, she's right, valued at 80 million. And let's just say our transfer budget is uh, 15. So I'm not sure where we're going to get the extra 65 million from. <laughs> I don't think we can get up in Ohala. And that's kind of sad, but it is what it is. So we're going to have to remove her from the list already, which is kind of sad. Now, Lucy Bronze, again, a player that we would absolutely love to have. And in real life, I think she's at the end of her contract, which she isn't renewing. However, in this game, she's not at the end of her contract because we're kind of starting in the season that just happened. So we can't get Lucy yet, and we probably won't get her for a while. So I don't think we can really look at that realistically yet. Now, Abby Dalcamper is definitely a player that I want to scout. She could be that centre-back next to Leah Williamson. So she's going to be a big part of the team, hopefully, if we can get her. Um, Buchanan would be absolutely amazing if we can get her, but I really doubt that we can stretch to the amount of money required for her. Um, now, Kelly O'Hara. Um, she's 30, and it saddens me to say that she is 30. And I don't know if we can really... Like, we're trying to build for the future here. But then again, if we're trying to win the Champions League in two and three seasons, it could be a decent transfer. So we'll, we'll scout her and see how much money they're going to want. But I have a feeling it's going to be quite a bit. Um, so Mal Pugh. Now this is a transfer that I want to do. For the reason that we need depth up front. We have no replacement for Lisa Evans. And even then, like the best, the best squad is to have a squad where there's competition for places. If players aren't don't have a player right, behind them fighting for their spot they're not going to be as motivated so I want good squad depth in competitive places like the wings so Mal would be an absolutely incredible signing for us she can play left wing she can play right wing so definitely a player that I would like to pick up but again money is an issue with her being so young as well might be Leon obviously a player that <laughs> you would Take in a heartbeat again, as, as you said, the back next to Leo Williamson. But again, money, maybe not so possible. A lot of players I'm going to be saying that about. Now, I've been kind of told, look at the Wolfsburg defenders. So we're going to be scouting pretty much all of their defenders and seeing if anybody pops up that we might be able to get. But this is one that I would also really like to do. Alan Kennedy. I think she's been linked to Arsenal in real life. Correct me if I'm wrong. Has she been linked to Arsenal in real life? So I'm pretty sure she has, and that would be a fun transfer to do. I think she'd be really good alongside Leah Williamson. Um, really good in the air with heading, jumping, good tackling, anticipation, like decisions, positioning, everything that you want in a centre back. And she scored two goals and got two assists in WS uh, in NWSL. So a very good player that we could also look at getting. I'm um, just quickly going to look at the other Wolves players. Don Bloodworth, now she's just left, so I, I don't see us being able to get her back. <laughs> but she was a suggestion, so I've taken it on board. Um, Lena, I'm not even going to try and say her name. Another centre-back, probably not ideal. She's actually 33, so I'm going to say no already. Um, all right, so where were we up to? We were up to Alicia. So, again, a transfer I would really like to do because we do need depth in attack. Um, she can play on the left-hand side very well. And she'd be perfect for assisting Viv. Now, this is, again, a transfer that was linked to real life. So it's something that I would be more interested in doing in this game as well. Because trying to keep it somewhat realistic. So Alicia is definitely a player that we want to take a, a look at. Uh, if we get a proper scout report on her, that'd be great. Um... Jenna Davidson, now this could be a very interesting one. If we choose, we can just stick with Jen Beatty. And I'm very tempted to do so. Um, in which case we could use we could develop Jenna over the time of using Jen and Leah and build Jenna into this centre back partner for Leah Williamson. Of course, 20 years old, very young, but still incredibly well. Um, well skilled in the game of football so we're going to scout her and hopefully she'd be one that I'd like to pick up regardless so definitely going to go in for Tiana Davidson I think um, Moritz again a player linked in real life can play left back can play right back brilliant player definitely worth picking up Ella Toon was recommended to me again another player that we could really do well with um, for attacking 
squad depth. So we'll be looking at her at some point probably as well. Meryl Van Dongen, another left back that we can potentially use as a backup to Katie McCabe. Um, and she's cheaper, so she'd be a lot easier to get. Um, I don't think we need a backup goalkeeper in all honesty. Um, so I'm going to remove Grace, unfortunately. I think with um, with Fran as our backup goalkeeper, she'll be all right. We we will use we'll just use Manu every game. Uh, <laughs> now this is a signing, of course, I would love to make, and I made it last time. The problem is we've got so much midfield depth that I don't think we need Jesse. And as much as I want her to be at Arsenal, I think she would be better off getting player playing time, at, like PSG or just anywhere else really I don't think we'll be able to fit her into the team enough so we're not going to be going for Jesse as much as I would want to um, but another Canadian player Jordan Heitzema now definitely a player that if we could get would be perfect but again I'm not sure if they're going to want to let her go but if they do absolutely brilliant player Alan Cook again another centre back that could be really good alongside Leah very young um, has played in Europe has played in America very experienced, so it would be a very good signing. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make this transfer. We don't need a midfielder. Um, Alessio Russo, another player that I really want to sign um, for attacking depth. Uh, just a brilliant young prospect, could be incredible for us. Um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of whizzing through these now as quick as possible so we can get onto some other stuff. So we're not going to sign Mallet. I don't think we need another. Um, we don't need another centre mid, so that's not going to be happening, despite it being a real life thing. Uh, rumour. Steph Catley, of course, left back, rumoured in real life, very close to signing for Arsenal, so I think she'd be probably the perfect player to sign for our left back. And then finally, Chloe Kelly, a player I really, really want to sign as well. I've said that about a lot of players today, but she'd be the perfect backup to Viv if she wants to be a sort of rotation player then yeah, we'll go for her. But I think she probably will want to get playing time, so maybe she won't want to join us. But yeah, those are the signs that we want to be making. So we're going to scout a few of them and skip on ahead a little bit. I'm going to go straight in with offers now in terms of players that we want to get. So Steph Catley, I'm going to go for first. She's actually being bid for by Olympic Leon, so we need to get in there as quick as possible. We're going to approach the site. What is this? I don't need an introduction. All right, playing time, probably squad player. I don't know how often she's going to get the start ahead of Katie, unless we play Katie left wing. They want us to strengthen that attack, so we can do that. So we're going to say that she wants to be a regular starter. I think we can shuffle the squad to allow that. So, I'll f what is this tutorial? <laughs> As if I don't know how to play the game. All right, so, oh wow, she wants £78,000 a week. That's more than me, I'm the coach. Uh, we're going to say no to that already. I'm going to have to adjust the budget a little bit to allow for this. Um, we're going to have to say no more than... I'm going to put it down to 55000 Gosh, she wants so much money. Steph, what are you doing? <laughs> we don't have any money. Uh, yeah, this this could be a tricky one to get over the line then. I'm going to say sixty k then. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so she, she accepts that. That's cool. That's a huge chunk of our budget, though. How much are the other players on is what I want to know. Katie is on... She's on 6.5k. That's nothing. Why is Katie paid nothing? Lisa's on 7 though. Steph Catley wants 60,000. That's what we're paying... We're, we're paying Viv 75,000 to put that into perspective. I don't think we should go for that. <laughs> What do you guys think? Yes to Steph Catley or no? What do we reckon? Yes or no to Steph Catley? I, I think no, we can't afford those wages. Like we can, but it would mean that the other players in the squad will then want more money. Like we can't pay a player almost as much as Viv. Like we can't pay them more than every other player in our squad when they're going to be a backup left back. So I think Steph Catley we're going to have to pass on. Who was the other left back that I was thinking? Um, I think it was Meryl Van Dongen. Yeah, I think she could be pretty... She could be on the cheap, so... We need to wait for her to be scouted first. I just want to look at players that are out of contract. Um, 
Chloe Kelly's out of contract. So let's go in for her. Breakthrough prospect. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, we can definitely go for Chloe Kelly. Would be a good signing. Huge potential. Could do further education with her off the ball movement. Okay. Natural in several positions. Very, very quick player. Determined. Will fit into the social group of the squad. Perfect. Okay. So we're going for Chloe Kelly. She just wants a youth contract, which is perfect. How old is she? She's 21. Let's give her a full time contract. Um, three years. Uh, probably around what we're paying the other players. Around uh, 3k, maybe. Signing on fee of like. 20k agent fee, I don't care. So they're going to accept that. Beautiful. Okay, so we might be getting Chloe Kelly. That would be a brilliant transfer. I don't know if any of the bears are out of contract right now. Ooh, Noel Moritz is out of contract soon. Oh no, next summer. Next summer. Okay. So that's why we're getting her in real life because she's out of contract in real life. Um, oh wow, Mappy Leon could only cost us 16 million. Alicia, 13 million to 57 million. That's a bit of a gap, isn't it? As much as I like her, I have to say no. Yeah, I agree. I, I would love to sign her, but the wages are just ridiculous. I, I did not expect that at all. Um, Alessia Russo is wanted by 11 clubs. So we're going to have to go in for her straight away. So she doesn't want to join until her contract is up. When's her contract up? Uh, 2019, December. So we're going to have to look at getting uh, Alessia Russo in December instead. Um, all right. Yeah, we're going to have to, we can put the transfer budget back up again now. Oh, apparently we can't. What? Hold on a second. Okay, apparently it's not letting us play around with that. Okay, that's that's frustrating. Um, we have no money. This is a problem. <sighs> what do we do with no money? <laughs> anyway, so Chloe Kelly's joining. Steph Cutler we bid for, but we're not going to accept, probably. Unless we've got to wait for. So let's go in for Alicia. Alicia. See how much money they're going to want for her. I'm going to drop it down to like 12 million. They want 65 million and we've got 15. Not going to happen, so we can't get Alicia, unfortunately. Uh, we'll remove her so that she doesn't clutter up the thing. Kelly O'Hara. How much do you want for her? They don't want to sell her at all. Could we persuade them? No. Okay, we're not going to get Kelly. That's sad. Um, all right. Mappy, how much are you? I feel like every club's just going to be like, no. <laughs> uh, let's say 14 million for Mappy. They want 30. Wow. Let's double our budget. Uh, so no, I'm not going to be getting Mappy either. I didn't expect to anyway. It was hopeful. <laughs> this is a lot more difficult than expected. Buchanan were never going to be able to get. Like, they want that much money. That's not going to happen. How much do they want for Mal? Don't want to sell you, Jake. <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, they don't want to sell Ivy Del Camper. This could get very difficult. Eleanor too. Could be. Oh, we could afford her. What are her stats like? Pretty decent. Not great, but also not bad. She's only 19 though, wow. Okay, this could be a really good transfer. If we compare it to Beth, a similar player, just a lot younger and less developed. I think we go in for her. What do we reckon, Alatoon? Do we say yes or no? I think, I, let's let's go in for her and just see. Just test the waters. Again, I'm trying to drop the, the cost down of players. God, 17 million, we don't have that. Give you 10. They want 10, but they want to loan her back until the end of the season. We need squad depth right now. That's the problem. We can't do that. We can't loan her back. Um, well, I don't think we're going to sell her anytime soon, so we'll give them a nice profit if we do sell her, though. 
Nah, they, they want the loan deal. Why does it feel awkward when United? I hate you. I hate United. Alright, so we can't get Ella really, because they want her to go back to the club, which is frustrating. Uh, we'll go in for Moritz now, because we do, like I said, we do need squad depth. They want 27 mil. What is with these inflated prices? We can't afford anyone. Uh, Dom we're not going to be able to get, I don't think. Um, what about Jordan? They want 130 million. But that basically means no. <laughs> Alright, nice. So we got Chloe Kelly. Beautiful. So that's that's a good start, I think. FC Bayern wants Steph Catley as well. Okay. Squads, we need to introduce ourselves to the squad. Hello, I'm the Arsenal manager. We're going to win the title this season, absolutely. Uh, now there's a code of conduct. Alright, cool. So we've met the squad. So here we go, we're going to meet the media now. Let me know in the chat if you do have any other signing suggestions, obviously. Because anything else would be welcome at this point, given that nobody wants to join us. <laughs> Uh, we can't afford anyone. So initial thoughts on joining the club. Um, it's going to be a challenge by... Actually, it's an honour to be signed in front of you. I think. Delighted with Nine Manager. Well, I have to be patient. I, can't be, I don't need to be patient. We're going to bring success from day one. We're going to be confident here. Um, looking forward to getting work. There's a lot to do here. Yeah, okay. I'm proud to be given the opportunity. Um, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> uh, will you struggle... Because a lot of the players in the dressing room are older than you, excuse me. How dare you critique my ability? Uh, I don't think age is important. You've got to get respect by winning games, absolutely. Um, does this squad have the ability to. Yeah, the squad has the ability, it's the squad depth that we don't have. <laughs> That's the problem. So, um, I have a trust in their abilities and of course, finding out how far that can take us. They're very excited starting to a new manager. The fans will play a massive part, of course. We all know about how good the fans are at Arsenal. Best fans in WSL. How far can you take this club? Um, we're going to aim high. Yeah, we have, we want everyone to embrace hard work and improve. Uh, what we'll be looking forward to, as well as the focus of the... What? I'm a very talented squad. I don't... All right, Kim Little. Yes, yeah, she's going to be our captain. Absolutely. Um... We're looking to strengthen in defence and attack. The players can come to with anything. We're strong favourites for the title. I don't think it's what right to prioritise one competition over the other because we'll go for the Champions League if you have the bottom. Should we go for um what's her name? Jaylene. What's her the second name now? Hinkle. What's her, her new Daniels? <laughs> That would be funny. <laughs> she would not fit into that squad at all. Um, Alright, signing of Chloe, Kelly. Delighted to be able to welcome Kelly to the club. Wait, she... Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> We've got her back. Uh, I'm confident that this will be a massive boot. I don't know what I just clicked on. I just clicked on something. Um, it'll be a lift to everyone at the club. Uh, I don't really... <sighs> She's not here for big games yet. Um, like, it's not really relevant. Uh, is it going to change the style of football? No, but she's going to adapt to ours. Uh, we definitely need more players. Alright, that's done. I hate doing media stuff. Who's Amanda Johnson? Physiotherapist. Cool. <laughs> I was about to say, like, the club have signed someone for me. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, wait, Kelly Smith is our scout. Why didn't she exist? I did not know that. Well, okay, so Kelly Smith is our scout, apparently. She was at the club 2012 to 2014. I did not know that. Interesting. Learn everything new every day, I guess. Um, 
All right, so moving on swiftly. Let's see. Oh, Ruby Mace signed a new deal. Perfect. Um, all right, let's look at the trans uh, uh, transfers then and see if any new scouting reports have come through. Not yet, I don't think. Well, look at all these clubs going for Steph Catley. Olympic Lyon, Bayern and Arsenal. Wolfsburg want her as well. We can't pay her wages though, everyone else can. Alan Kennedy, let's see how much we can get her for. If we go in with like 12 million. They want 42, what is this? We don't have that money. Well, well. Yeah, we're really starting to struggle. We might have to tone down our expectations in terms of transfers. Yeah, they're not gonna let go of now. Um, oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> I didn't expect so many clubs to be asking for so much money. Um, we might need a change of plan in terms of centre back. We might have to go for Tiana Davidson and um, God, how? Why do you want two hundred million? She's worth eight, and you're asking for two hundred. Like, no. <laughs> Nah, they're not going to let go. Alright, this is a problem. Um, expectations are high, I guess. Who are we going to go for? Preseason report on Chelsea. I don't think they've signed anyone, have they? They got Google, but that's like a real life signing. Hmm. Oh, that's uh, another signing that we lost, Sil Solana Flores. Another young stuff from Arsenal that's left the club. Brilliant. All right, I don't, I don't need this development centre tutorial. Yeah, we're struggling in terms of squad depth, so let's set up some scouting. How many scouts have we got right now? One. We need more scouts. I'm going to have to do this on stream, unfortunately, but I'm going to cut this out of the uh, episode edit when I do that because it takes a while to find the right people. So we're looking for scouts. Um, I don't know who's actually in the game, but we'll see. Um, I don't, yeah, in terms of like female stuff, I don't know who's in the game. So who's this? Papa. All right, you're going to be a, you're going to be one of our new scouts, hopefully. Uh, let's bring that wage down because any money that we can save is worth saving at this point. Because Arsenal have no money apparently because the men's team can't be bothered to help. Uh, I don't care about adaptability as much. Well, wow, there's no real talented scouts here that are available. What is this? Um. Alright, let's try that. So, who have we got? Kate Cohen. Cohen, Cohen, something like that. Alright, let's offer in for her then. Try and get her as a scout. As soon as we get scouts, we'll actually be able to like find out info about players and find out who we might be able to bring in because at the moment we're not finding anybody. Um, Christy Holly, an American scout. That could be helpful. She doesn't care and doesn't want to join us. Brilliant. Why would you not want to join Arsenal? Watford, Andrew Lewis. No, it doesn't want to join. <laughs> I see a pattern emerging. Glasgow City, surely you want to join us from Glasgow City. Yes, you do. Perfect. We literally will take anybody at the moment. We just need people to look into getting as many players as possible. Helena Costa. Ooh, really good stats. Doesn't want to join. Oh, everybody tried Christy Holly. Frank Kelleher. That's an Irish name, if I'm right. Is it an Irish person? It is. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> um, a, a scout from North Carolina Courage. Yeah, they're not going to want to join Arsenal then. Um, Tom Torres from Washington. Spirit doesn't want to join us. Okay, that's annoying. We need more. So I'm going to lower these stats even more so that hopefully you can get someone in. Josh Brown from Flight. 
doesn't want to join. Why? Why don't any? Why does no one want to join Arsenal? What's wrong with us? Um, <laughs> this is problematic. Are you any good at scouting? You're good. Yeah. Doesn't want to join. How dare? Wow, from Leipzig. They've got a lot of money, so no, we're not going to be able to get. Oh, hang on. Player coach. That's dumb. Alright, uh, this is frustrating. So if we bring these down even more. Joe Murphy. Non staff role, perfect. Scouts, perfect. Not much money, perfect. I don't know if they're any good, I didn't check. Are they any good? Uh, they'll fill in the, the gaps. <laughs> I think that's going to be the case with a lot of these signings for scouts because at this point we just need enough people to find the players that we need to get. So I'm just bringing down these wages as much as possible and then we'll be able to move on and hopefully get some good players. Alright. Who's that? Chelsea, can you stop buying players please? <laughs> it's really annoying me. Oh, I know who I wanted to get. I don't think we're going to be able to get Carmen, but we can try. Would be an incredible signing. And then we'd be able to play Katie on the wing, probably, because I wouldn't bench Carmen. Just, like, not at all. Alright, so we've got an experienced goalkeeper joining. Who signed this? Oh, the head of youth development made this. Well, she looks like a very good goalkeeper as a backup goalkeeper. So yes, I think we're going to go for that. I don't know who they are, but we'll go for it. Uh, we've got a scout report for Buchanan. We're not going to go for her. We're not going to go for Kelly. We're not going to go for Mal. We're not going to go for Mappy. Unfortunately, we can't afford anyone. We've got a game against Leicester in 15 days. Maybe we can skip on to that. If anybody wants to help me pronounce this name as well, go ahead. Like, uh, one sec. How do I even copy and paste? I'll try. No, it's not working. If anyone wants to try and say that name, feel free. <laughs> I won't have a hope. We're gonna call her... Uh, God, no, I don't know. Do they have a, a middle name? I don't know what to... like... <laughs> We'll call her Guab. Guab. <laughs> Guab is our new backup goalkeeper. Steph Catley's joined Olympic Lyon for £53,000 a week, which is significantly lower than we offered her. How did she accept that and not ours? I guess she wanted more money to pay for Arsenal. She didn't need as much from Lyon. That's stupid. Well, do you know what? We're better off without, <laughs> We're better off without her being on higher wages than all of our team. Let's just skip on a little bit. Did you all expect these players to want this much money? <laughs> I wonder if these um, wages are actually close to real life. Um, Alright, let's get these scouts in. We need a lot of scouts. Good, 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 good. All of you join us, please. Thank you. Okay, now we have scouts, we can send them out. So Dom, no, we're not going to get her. Alicia, we already know that they want like 60 million. Tiana Davidson, they don't want to let her go. Who's Katie Robinson? Wow, the potential. I say we give a little look at her and see if she can fill in the gap behind Beth Mead. She's playing the left as well, which is perfect. We do need a left-sided attacking winger. 16 years old. Pretty pacey. Good dribbling. Looks like a very technical player. So let's, let's give Katie Robinson a scout and see how she compares to the rest of the squad. Ellie Hack as a centre back. Again, good potential. If we do decide to go with Jen BT. Another player that we might be able to build up alongside, so we'll give her a scout as well. If you guys know any young players that would be good as well, please let me know because they'll be a lot cheaper. More scouts coming in, perfect.
Um, cool. Squad dynamics, cohesion, worrying. That's not good. The team's collective mental state is disappointing. Okay, we need to sort that out. <laughs> we need some um, team building. What would you guys do if you were Arsenal coach and you had to do some team building exercises? Where would you send them? So I know the, uh, the Lionesses, they did that week or a few days or something with the Marines, like the Royal Marines, and they did all these like obstacle courses and stuff. That would be pretty cool. We could, if we could send Arsenal players on that, that'd be so funny. Like the content would be incredible. Um, so let's just have a look at training and see if um, good. We've got some team bonding in there. That's what we want to see. Not enough of it apparently, but I can't bother to change it. <laughs> so we got that in there. Ah, uh, that's good. So hopefully that'll help with the cohesion a little bit. My weather's picked up an injury for three days. Wow, look at Viv's stats. Cool, so with um, what, what we're going to call it, Gu, I can't, Gunners, Gunners Dirty, I don't want to say her name, I'm bad at this. With her coming in, we can actually then probably loan out Fran Stenson and give her some game time. So let's put her on the loan list and give her, because I think she went to Blackburn in real life, if I'm not wrong. So we'll be able to loan her out, give her some game time, because I don't want her to just be sat on the bench or whatever the whole season. We're going to have a lot of decisions to make for the next episode, for sure. I'll put like loads of polls and stuff on my, uh, on my Instagram, so that we can see who we can get. I'm going to need more transfer suggestions, for sure. Alright, we're saving the game. So, what have we discovered so far this episode? We can't get any of the players that we want, apart from Chloe Kelly, who we've managed to get already. Um, we've got our tactics set up. We've got a lot of scouts now, so hopefully we can find some of the right players. Um, hmm. Alright, here we go, Moritz. Did we offer in for her already? 13 million to 19 million. How much have we got again? We've got like 14 million. In fact, that's, that can go a lot higher, I think. Yeah, we've got 16 million. Do we want to spend all of our money on a left back that's going to be a backup? We can go in for her again if we haven't already. Um, did we offer for her? I don't think we did. So let's go with like 8 million. 26, could you not? Like, why do you want all of our money? Uh, we'll say 11 million. God, why are they, they want so much money. All right, I've got a better idea. So we go in with 10 million and then we say over the next three years, we'll give you Five million. They've won eight million over that amount of time. I'll say six. <laughs> Transfers are tricky. Uh, we're not looking to sell her, so we'll keep that there. Why do you want all of our money? Stop. Do we go with eighteen million? How old is she? she's twenty three? She's young. All right, we'll go with it. So we can get Noel Maritz, and that would be real life kind of. So that would be a good signing, I think. Alatoon. We did go in for her already, didn't we? They want between 8.25 to 17 million. How much did they want for her when we offered? They wanted... They wanted 11... Oh yeah, they wanted the loan back. So dumb. <laughs> Could you not? Um, I'm just going to say no completely to that and see if they accept anyway. Oh, okay. We might be able to get this over the line, you know. All right, cool. 11 million for Ella too. So that's going to be problematic in that we've got now 20 million on these two players. Hmm. Loan signings are a possibility. I forgot about that. We could get a loan signing on the left wing. We do definitely need a left back. 
unless we go loan for a left back. And then, what do you all think? Do we loan a left back or do we loan a left winger? And buy a left. So we, if we buy a, a left winger, we'll loan a left back in because we can't afford both positions, as you can see already. We still need like another backup strike. Oh, we've got Chloe Kelly, haven't we? So we still need a centre back potentially. Oh, this is tricky. <laughs> this is a lot more difficult than I expected. Um, we're going to go with that anyway, but we're probably not going to be able to go through with that transfer. Ashley Lawrence. Ooh. Could we loan her? What do you reckon? That could be a really good signing, you know. They're reluctant to allow her to leave due to first team commitments. If we pay her wages, let's say we'll pay like 17,000. That's still a lot. Let's see if they accept that. I have no idea who that is, but we don't need midfielders. Lucy Finch, a left back, a young left back. Perfect, so we'll scout her. Sarah, I, I would love to buy her, but she's a midfielder. We don't need them. Cool. Just get a contract sorted for Maritz. If I'm saying her name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm awful with names. Squad player, regular starter, important player. So she wants to kind of settle into the team over seasons. Full and sound of English, perfect. Great pace, good first touch. Naturally in many positions. Uh, good personality. It, can adapt well to moving to a new country. Consistent. Can use either feet. That's even better. Strength and fitness level's not great. Eh, I'm not keen on that for a left back. Doesn't enjoy big matches. Anyway, let's try and get her contract sorted anyway. So 45 is too much already. We're going to try and get that down to like 30k. The economy in this game is broken. For like women's football, it doesn't work very well. I'm not going to give her a wage rise. I can't afford to. Yeah, like it's the game isn't designed for women's football, so like the in terms of like transfer costs and stuff, it's just not set up for that. Can we get that down a little bit more, please? Say thirty-eight thousand, perfect. Okay, so she's on significantly less than we're going to be paying for Steph Catley at left back. Toon was is not going to want much money. She's going to be a. Uh, this is just messed up. Uh, breakthrough prospect, hopefully. She's not going to be much more than that. She wants to be a squad player. Okay, fine, fine. We need players. <laughs> we can't argue with them. Um, I think she's going to want probably around 7,000. That's a big signing on bonus. Um, I don't want to wage rise and I don't want to have to give her any more money than we have to. She wants 9k. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pay that for a youngster that isn't going to play as much. No, okay, we're not going to pay, no. <laughs> I guess this is the process Arsenal have been through this whole summer. It's like, we want this player, we can't get them. We want this player, we can't afford them. We want this player, they've gone to Lyon. That's how our whole summer has been so far, it seems. Like, we've lost how many players this summer? Like, six, and not got a single player in yet. Crazy stuff. So, Katie Robinson looks like a really good prospect. I'd say we pick her up and try and use her as our left, backup left winger. That's some really nice potential. We scout her a little bit more, but I'm pretty certain she's going to be a very good signing if we can. Uh, PSG don't want us to get Lawrence on loan, that's annoying. Let's look at the transfer list, see if anyone's listed, because they'll be a lot cheaper. So, in terms of loan signings, Lindsay Horan. Okay. <laughs> we don't need a midfielder, but come on. Oh, hang on, Madri. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 definitely. They want us to pay a lot of her wages. Let's try and bring that down a little bit. Yo, this could be a huge signing. I don't want to pay a mandatory future fee, no. Uh, okay, let's put that back up to 60. I definitely want to try and get Madri if I can. Oh, if the game lets me do this, I'll be so happy. <laughs> that would be perfect. Cascarino as well. She's wanted by Man City for a transfer. Yo, Cascarino could be a really good signing. Okay, we're actually making progress now. <laughs> as we get to the end of this stream, we're actually making progress. That's nice. We've got about 10 minutes left. 
Uh, Varro's a little bit too much on the old side. Rocky Rodriguez, she literally just signed for Portland. I don't understand why she's on there. I don't recognise any of these other players. Wow, that could be huge if we get Madri. In terms of transfers on this list, Buchanan is on the transfer list. No, she's not. She just should be interested in transfer, but she's too expensive. Mappy would actually be interested in joining for us. That's nice to know. Vicky Lassard, do we bring her back to Arsenal? That would be nice. I'll, I'll give her a, a, a little scouting and see if we can uh, convince her to join. Alexia. I, I don't want to take the Queen from Spain. That would be bad. That would be very bad of me. Um, Alright. So I'm liking the look of these latest potential deals. I really hope we can get I really hope we can get Mackie on. I would absolutely love to get Mackie on, but like I said, she's very expensive. Can, we wouldn't be able to loan her, that would be possible. I think we're gonna have to wait a year or two to get Mackie. Alright, so Maritz, what do we say in chat? Yes or no? She's thirty eight K a week, which is significantly more than most of our players, but nowhere near as much as like that's basically Jordan's wages. A lot of these players have such low paying contracts. I hope this isn't reflecting what they're on in real life because they deserve more. Um Yeah, okay, so what do we think? Yes or no. It's eighteen million, that's so much money. She's going to be a really good left back for us, though, and she's only 23. If we get her in, we're definitely going to be able to loan. We're going to be able to loan Madri. We can use her as a winger rather than a left back because Madri is much better going forward. <sighs> Decisions. I'm thinking yes. Let me know in the chat what you all think. I need to know. <laughs> uh, this is such a decision to make like we need the squad depth that's absolutely we don't have another left back in our squad like Vicky Schneiderbeck can kind of play on the left but not comfortably I think we have to do it I don't think there's any other left backs out there as far as I'm aware Casey Short mm. I, don't think, I don't see her getting, us getting her Ali Krieger, I'd love to, but no, she's like 35. Hmm. Looks like United have got two really good fullbacks on here. Do they need... Oh, Layla. Oh, no, I know who I want to get. I know who I want to get. Can we make this happen, please? How much do you reckon we need to give for honour? Okay, 1.8 isn't enough. Yo, I will give you all of my money. <laughs> Oh, she's got a release clause. Oh, she's got a release clause of 4.6. We have to do that. If we can get on her for 4.6, we don't need to pay 18 million for Marids. Right, we're going to delay that. I have a better... This is a much better plan. She doesn't want to join. No. Ah, I can't believe it. I was so happy. Isn't ent interested in entering contract negotiations, but no other clubs want her, so she'd rather stay at Levante than join Arsenal. Are they even... Where did they even finish in the league? Like, why Why are you staying with that? The media prediction is there. Why are you staying with Levantic when you could join Arsenal? That makes no sense to me. Oh, I really thought I had it then. I really thought I had the right, cho the right choice. Alright, that throws a spanner in the works. Um, <laughs> damn! <laughs> I was so happy for a moment. Uh, and then they do that. Okay, Johnson, Lucy Johnson has joined for us at left back in the reserves, but she's not looking to be like she's going to be challenging for the first team. Damn, I can't believe Honor said no to Arsenal. Even though no other teams want her. Ooh. Madri's. Okay, they've accepted the loan offer for Madri. Perfect. So she's going to be our left winger. That is an incredible signing. We just need to get that one done. All we need to do is get that one done. And then we've got 
left wing backup sorted. And then we can focus on centre back, left back, and then potentially another. Actually, no, we've got Kevin Kelly, so we don't need the striker now. I think we've almost got it sorted, you know. Centre back. So we need centre back and left back. As long as Madri accepts, she does. Amazing. So we've got Madri. She can be our left winger. Look at those stats. Unbelievable. Right, okay. We want to win the Champions League and we've just got Madri. This is perfect. So much for Leon buying everyone's players. We're going to buy Leon's players. We're going to give them a taste of their own medicine. Incredible. We might be able to sign her in the future as well. I just didn't want to have a an absolute fee in the future of 20 million to pay when we might find someone better for the future on the left wing. So Madri is now a part of our team. Ellie Hack could be a good player, probably more of a backup player. Hmm. Hang on, I've got a friend that's a Brighton supporter. One second, I'm going to send him a message and ask them a little bit. So, do you know what? Let's end the episode here. We've just got Madri. Let's just do a quick recap. So we've just got... Um, we've just bought in... Why isn't it showing the right people? we just bought in Madri. 26. She's going to be on... I said, How much of her wages are we paying? We're paying 34,000 of her 60,000 wages, so not too bad. She's going to be a huge player for us this season, for sure. It means that Lisa Evans can then sort of be played wherever we want to play her. Um, we brought in Chloe Kelly. Um, incredible finishing, pace, everything. So she's going to be our backup to Viv. Who's Sophia Navas? All right. That's actually for really, we We have a really good youth prospect here. Good dribbling, good pace, good balance, technique, work rate. Well, so the technical player, again. Uh, well, good determination. It looks like we saw someone, I guess we've signed her for the Youth Academy. Like we signed, I guess the head of youth is involved with it. Who, what, no, <laughs> she's not young. <laughs> uh, Safina, wow, okay. So that, that could be useful for the future who's so lucy johnson as well has come into the club at left back in terms of youth players so that's nice to see so those are the players that we brought in this episode dom only went for 44k seriously is that real life 44k I guess because the game is just like not right in terms of transfer money anyway okay so we'll leave it there we've brought in madrid we've brought in Chloe Kelly, whoever these two are. And we're looking like a lot, we've got a lot more strength in our squad now. That looks a lot better to me. We just need really three more players. Two or three more players and we'll be good to go, I think. Of course, we've got Caitlin Ford on the bench as well. She'll be switching around with, with Beth Mead, maybe. I'm liking the look of this, though. That looks like a very good side. Where's Chloe Kelly? Bring her into that team as well. So we actually only need two players, really. Perfect. Okay, so we'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do give me advice on transfers, because we need that. And we have no money, so please try and be realistic. Don't tell me to get Lucy Bronze again, because <laughs> uh, that obviously is not going to happen. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time, which will be... I don't know. I'll, I'll let you all know soon. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.